Yo, YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy Sus coming back to you again with another video. Um, this is the patch five notes, the official patch five notes. They dropped them right after they dropped the patch. I didn't think they was gonna drop them so soon, but um, they dropped them right after they dropped the patch. Let me get to it right now. Uh, as y'all know, every time I every time I bring patch notes to y'all, I always highlight everything that's important. All this other crap, y'all can come read. I mean. It's pretty much all the other crap not important. I'm just um, showing the major things that they they changed, the things that everybody was complaining about. So um, patch 1.5. It's crazy that they did. Technically, there's three patches, but and two tune-ups and two uh, yeah, two tune-ups technically, but five. You gotta you gotta edit the game five times. Like you gotta modify the game five times already. And it hasn't been. It's 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 November. You know, is the game been out for two months? September, October, crazy man. Anyway, let's get to it. HDR support has been added to PS4. I'm not sure what the fuck that means. I'm gonna search it up. I don't know what HDR support means. Maybe I'm, maybe I do, but I just I can't think of it right now. But uh, that's um, that's the first thing there. And then right here too, it says authenticity has improved to a large number of uniforms. I know there's a um. Something with the something with the game, the shoulders, the uniform when it right at the shoulders always shows it's like this clipping issues right at the shoulders in the uniforms if you check if you uh if you pay attention. Alright, so the first one we got up fix issue where the user was unable to unequip certain animations types from their my play. So I think the big man contact dunks and the uh the my park intros was some things that you could not unequip. The park dunks, you could not unequip the park dunks for some reason. So that is fixed. Um, address issue where controller settings will be reset after playing games online. I hate this shit. Um, every time I would change my controller settings to absolute, it would change back for some reason. All right, now the major things right here. For you park, for you prime play it here, it goes right here. These next two sections are for you guys, are for us, because I play this shit too. Um, the Jamal Crawford double behind the back size up combo move now functions properly when equipped. So be prepared for all the cheesy ass tutorials with the Jamal Crawford in the fucking thumbnail. Cause these everybody's gonna have this shit in the park soon. I'm about to go put mine on. Actually, we just I just finished playing a couple games of Pro Am. I just I just played Park, so uh I could tell y'all how this feels too. Um, aiming y'all the improvements to make catch uh improvements to make catching short passes more reliable yeah that shit's fucked up the hands i think you have to if you don't upgrade your hands in this game and that's a freaking attribute like that's an actual attribute uh if you don't have your hands upgraded you won't catch these you won't there's a possibility you could fucking catch the ball and start freaking jumping it around and find your way out of bounds that shit that shit is stupid and it's on short passes too so i guess that's tweak not fix because once it says improvements, that means tweaked. Dial back pass speeds, especially on longer passes, to achieve better game balance. Um, I don't think that was a problem though. That's that was actually I don't know why they why they fucked that up. Why you made the passes slower? Soften top rim front um soften top front rim bounces for more realistic physical physics based on um, outcomes. This. What this means is that the ball is going to go out of bounds on shots a lot less, and they have yeah they have changed that so uh, you gonna see uh, rebound you gonna see a lot more rebounds. The ball won't go flying out of bounds after a shot for every freaking shot. I don't know why why I was ever like that. I don't have it in real life, so they changed that. That's fixed. Reduce frequency of ticky tack shooting fouls on jump shots and layups. Uh yeah, it's they actually they actually did a good job with this because you don't see all those little touch fouls, um, on dunks and shooting uh and shots uh, no more. That's actually fixed. Um, I just got finished playing pro am and I, I think we got like four or five games in, and uh yeah we the game feels the game felt faster. It was it wasn't being stopped every time because we have a freaking shooting foul. Um, fix illegal screens right here. This is the big one. Let me read this. Yeah, fixed illegal screens, which were not being triggered in the proper situations. This shit right here. This shit needs to be crossed out because I don't see any difference in screens in this game. We be, we be, I don't I don't see any difference. People was getting dropped. I actually saw. 
I could actually say that a lot of people, a lot more people was getting dropped today than I've seen in the past in my in my in, while we was playing pro. But a lot of people got dropped today, man. I got dropped a couple times. You know, you know the amethyst brick wall and shit. When you coming on, when you getting hit with screens, I got dropped a couple times. Everybody on my fucking team probably got dropped today, and we played like four games. So uh, I don't even think they fixed that shit. <laughs> that that that's BS. That illegal screen shit. That's BS. They didn't fix nothing. I mean, the game is fine right now. So general improvements to responsiveness, primarily on off ball motion. So if your player, if you feel like your player was moving a little bit slow or whatever. I, I didn't feel no fucking difference off ball motion. I didn't feel no difference. It's probably a little tiny tweak that you can't really feel, but it's there. Improvements to the CPU's double team logic and general defensive AI decision making. <sighs> if y'all play my career and y'all y'all know this, when y'all when you grind it for them badges and you got like a hundred something points, and they start double teaming, you gotta come down the court and pass it every time. That shit gets annoying, especially when you're going for dead eye, and they double team your ass. Let me start chatting. Let me stop chatting. All right, 2K Pro M. Teams in River City are not able to grab a guy next spot while the game is in progress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a little problem with a squad spot in River. There was a, definitely a problem. Fix the number of camera-related issues when shooting free throws during the Pro M and Pro M games. So the Pro M, the Pro M free throw glitch is gone. Um, trust me, we abused that shit to the last second. <laughs> Well, everybody was abusing it to the last second. All the teams was abusing it to the last second. We was playing Pro-Am right... We finished the Pro-Am game, and then as soon as we finished the Pro-Am game, Ronnie said on Twitter, the patches dropped. And the, but that, that that game, they we they was spamming the, uh, the, the, the timeout glitch on us at the free throw line. So, yeah, that's fixed. I don't know why people still think it's in the game. People still call timeouts. Even after the patch, people still call timeouts on free throws. I don't know why. Address the issue where some users were unable to use their custom jump shots. Custom jump shots in my park. So you can now equip your jump shots in the my park. Your custom jump shots that you made. This is gonna save me a lot of time. It's gonna save anybody who's who's still trying to tweak their jump shot and find the right jump shot. I'm still tweaking my shit right now because I don't know why all my shots is on the line. All my good releases is on the line. It's like it's, everything is white. And then it's just like a, a little tiny piece of blue. You can't even see it. And it's not. It's just getting me mad because it's not green. So um, this going to help me out a lot. <clears throat> I don't have to keep going back and forth to my mic or to uh, change to try on the jump shots and shit. I could just change a game after game. When editing your pro amp court, the backboard logo and wall texture cannot be switched back to none slash blank. Um, if you're not a pro am head, you're not gonna know what the fuck this means. The pro am heads know what this shit means. Um, you can't, you couldn't change the backboard logo on your pro am. Once you put the picture on it, you couldn't change it for some reason. You couldn't take it off. Same thing with the wall. Once you put a picture on the wall, after you unlock that, uh, after you unlock that feature, you could not take it off if you put something on the wall. So that is fixed. You can now view team rosters of each team directly from the power ranking menus in the pro -Am. So this is actually a cool ass feature that they added to the game. I'm glad that they that they added it. I'm glad that they could that could, they could add this to the game. So you can actually go to the pro -Am rankings. You can see a whole team roster. You can see the play style of every team, every person on that roster or the last my player they used or whatever. You can see their 2K card. You can see their grand badges right here while I'm at it. You can see the grand badges in the 2K card. <coughs> wow, damn, I got a call. You can see the grand badges in the 2K card. Uh, let me try to make this quick. You can now skip through story scenes that you already already watched. That's self-explanatory. That's going to help out a fucking lot. That should have been in the game already. People was complaining about it last year. Should have been in the game already. Fix an issue you result in the user being able to play their next game in my career. Yeah, I've had that problem before. It's not big, but I've had it. It's annoying as fuck when you gotta miss out on VC. Um, yeah, so all this shit is uh this is my G and my league. I don't think nobody really plays like that. My G and my league this year. It's not worth it to be honest. I'd rather play my team. So well uh, yeah, that is the patch one point five notes. If you did find this video informative, 
if you did find this video helped you out a little bit uh, don't forget to leave a like don't forget to comment comment anything y'all um any type of videos y'all want me to make any type of tutorials y'all want me to make uh y'all could comment and uh that's gonna be it that's gonna be that's gonna be it we about to hit a thousand real soon so uh yeah we're gonna turn up thank you to everybody that tuned into the stream too uh, i know uh I know a bunch of y'all did come um, pass through the stream, so uh, thank you to y'all. Link is always in the description. Link is always in the description, man. That's gonna be it. I'm fucking rambling my ass off. <laughs> so it's out, man.